Hi everyone, my name is Jeremiah Kellogg. I'm the Systems Librarian at Eastern Oregon University. In this video, I want to show you how to upgrade your version of OS Ticket on a Linux server. I've recently noticed that I've been running an outdated version and thought this would be a good opportunity to show folks how to make any necessary upgrades to their own installations. As far as I know, there's no way of getting a update notifications when a new version has come out for OS Ticket, so it's the sort of thing that you should keep an eye on. Every few months or so, perhaps it's it's a good idea to, to check in on the OS Ticket website to see if any, any new updates have happened. Um, you can tell what version you're running by signing into the admin module. So I'm going to sign in here, go to my admin panel, and the default page that we're brought to is settings and system. If you weren't brought there, uh, you want to click on the, the settings tab and you want to click on system. And here you will see what version of OS Ticket you are currently running. Uh, the newest version is 1.12 and so I'm going to be updating from uh, 1.10 to 1.12. So we'll start by going to the OS Ticket documentation site, uh, which is docs.osticket.com. Here we get a list of instructions for a number of things, installation, post-install setup guide, all sorts of uh, useful information. What we're going to look at today is the upgrade and migration module. So we'll go there. And we get uh, an explanation, a uh, little bit of a description of uh, what to do to get started. Um, you'll also notice that OS Ticket is telling us that any version uh, below 1.6 requires us to look into migration instead. I'm not going to touch on that sort of thing at all today simply because I think migration is a much more complicated and much more involved process and I don't think a YouTube video would be very helpful in that regard. So what we're going to look at today is the section on uploading files and what I'll do is walk through each one of these steps and try to explain what's going on. Um, I'll try not to assume uh, that you all have experience with this sort of thing on a Linux server. Uh, so I, my intent here is to try to make this as, as painless and um, as comprehensive as I possibly can. So actually the first thing that we'll do is um, we will download the OS Ticket package. Uh, so that's the very first thing that we'll need to do. And uh, I think probably the best way to get there right now is to first go to installation. And um, here we have uh, getting started. There's the latest version of uh, OS Ticket. I'm going to click on that. And here we get a choice of uh, what, what we want to download. So we have a maintenance release for 1.10.6, which I never installed. So um, I'm not going to bother with that. I'm just going to go straight to the 1.12. So I'll click on that. Click on Next Step. Um, I'm not sure if I need to include English or not. Um, but whatever languages that you'll be working with in OS Ticket, I think need to be added at this point. I'm just going to use English Great Britain. I'll go to Next Steps. I'm not currently using any plugins, so I'm just going to click on Next Steps. Um, I don't want to subscribe to the mailing list, so I'm just going to click No Thanks, and then we get things downloaded. Now my tip typical approach to this sort of thing is usually to right click on this and get the uh, download URL uh, but I'm not getting an option for doing that right now. Uh, I prefer to do this stuff in the command line and not mess around with uh, FTP clients uh, but in this case we're going to have to uh, use an FTP client just to get this onto the server. So now that I've done the download um, I will go back to the Upgrade and Migration page. And we'll go to our section on Uploading Files and we'll begin at the first instruction here, uh, which is telling us to make sure we back up our site's database and files. 
please do not skip. This is an important process. If things go wrong, you're going to need these files to fix things. So I'm going to do this on the command line just because that is what I'm comfortable with and I find it much easier than having to deal with FTP clients. Um, and this is actually a test environment for me, so I am accessing my system through an IP address and I'm just going to type that in now. Move this over. Put in my credentials. And I'm now in the server itself. And where I want to be is in my home directory, which I think is where I'm at right now. So I'm going to run the command pwd print working directory. And yes, I am here in my, my home folder. So the two things that we're going to need to do here is back up all of our files as well as create a backup of our uh, MySQL database. And to do the backup of the MySQL database, you need to know what your database is called. If you're not sure what that is, what we would do is just run the, uh, let's see here, we would run the MySQL-u root dash p command and so this will get us into the mysql system uh, as root user and so if you have a password for mysql this is where you would enter it and so now that we're in mysql we can just run the command show databases and don't forget the semicolon and so here you'll see that this server, uh, MySQL server, has a couple of databases, one of which is called OS Ticket, and uh, that is the name of the database that is tied to my OS Ticket system. So I'm just going to take note of that and exit the system. And I'll clear the screen to make things easier for us. And so at this point we want to run the mysql dump os ticket which is the name of our database and we're just going to pipe that into a file called database um, actually I want to call it os ticket dash or dot sql whoops we want to use the sudo command to make that happen. If you are not running this as a root user, then we will have to be using our uh, sudo commands. So uh, sudo mysql dump os ticket to os ticket dot sql. Put in my password. Oops. Okay, now if we list the contents with ls, and I just want to do dash la to show what permissions we have. So we'll see here that uh, we have our osticket.sql back up here. So we have uh, successfully backed up our database at this point. Uh, so the next thing we're going to want to do is back up all of our files that make up the OS ticket system. To do that, the first thing we're going to do is make a directory to store all of those backup files. So what I'm going to do is run, um, I don't need to use sudo in this case because um, I own this directory and I'm able to read and write to it. So uh, what I'll do is mkdir make directory and I'm going to call it os ticket backup and it's always good practice to put the date that you are making the backup on so 2019 uh, 05 and 16 and enter ls-la and you'll see that we have a new directory here called OS ticket backup with the date and we have read, write, and execute permissions, so we're in good shape here. 
Now the next thing I want to do is copy all of the files uh, in my OS Ticket installation to my new OS Ticket backup directory. So that way I can zip them up um, or put them into a tarball to uh, save and reuse if I happen to run into any major problems and, and kind of destroy things as I go along. So to do that we're going to use the copy command uh, which is CP and then dash RP and I'm not sure exactly what those flags do. I suspect the R is uh, probably recursive. Um, so my files live in the var www html directory. Yours might be somewhere else. You want to be sure before you do this that you actually know where all of your um, all of your files are. And actually, you know, we can quickly just do a cd var um, www html. And so your directory is going to look very similar to this. Uh, if you go to your HTML directory and you see all of this, great, you're in good shape. If you don't have an HTML directory at all, there's a good possibility that it's in www. Um, and if it's in neither of those places, you'll probably have to do some searching to figure out what directory your OS ticket files actually live in. So I'm going to go back to my home directory now. And simply by typing cd, uh, change directory, uh, without any parameters, it will bring us back to our home directory. And I think what I'm going to do is clear the screen so that we're, we don't have everything all bunched up. And now what we'll do is um, copy all of the files from that HTML directory that I was just at into my home folder. And I'm going to do that with uh, copy-rp slash var www html and then I'm going to put in an asterisk so this is a wild card that grabs all files and all folders from the html directory and we want to write this to home and my users account and OS ticket Oops, back up, and that should do it. So I will hit enter, and now if I list the contents, we have the OS ticket backup directory. So what I'm going to do is change into that directory. So CD OS ticket, and if you hit tab, that will auto complete for you if the file or directory exists. Uh, hit enter, ls. Perfect, so I have all of those files that were in the HTML directory stored in my OS ticket backup. And what we want to do now is actually seal that up into a tarball. Um, I'm just gonna go back one directory so cd uh, dot dot will bring us back one directory and now to save myself some space I will um, encapsulate this directory in in a tarball and so we can do that with uh, the command uh, tar dash zcvpf and I forget what all of those flags mean uh, and then the name of the directory that we want to kind of zip up or compress OS ticket dot tar dot gz and we're going to put this in the home into my users account and our backup folder that we've created and moved all of or copied all of the contents of the HTML directory into. So I'll hit enter and all of our stuff has been compressed. If we list you'll see now that we have uh, a compressed version of all of our files and the uncompressed version. 
Um, so if you want to save yourself some space, you can always unzip this at a later date or um, whatever the equivalent in tar is called, unzip. I'm not quite sure what that is, but in any case, what we want to do is um, RM OS ticket backup. So what we're going to do is remove that directory, and actually because it's a directory, we need to do dash R uh, to recursively remove everything. So uh, RM dash R OS ticket backup and the date. I'm gonna hit enter. That should remove that. So when I hit LS, you'll see that the blue directory is is now gone, and all we have left is our compressed version of that directory. Very good. So now we have our uh, OS ticket uh, SQL backup. So this is our database that's been backed up and we have all of our files backed up. So for now I'm going to uh, move this to the side and let's go back to our instructions. So we have backed up our site's database um, and files. So we're good there. Upgrader requires user with admin privileges. This is one big reason why I like to use command line and not FTP clients because I just don't know how to run a sudo command uh, in, you know, FileZilla or WinSkip or whatever. Um, so it's just easier for me to run it um, in the command line as a sudo user. And so that's what I'm going to do. Um, it is recommended that you take the system offline during the upgrade. So the way we're going to do that is in our admin panel. So uh, we're in the same place that we were before with settings and system. You'll see that there's a help desk status here and a button that we can click uh, to make it online or offline. If we click on offline, and save changes. The system is now offline so you know if, if users were coming to visit um, coming to visit you'll see they would see that the support ticket system is offline so um, they won't try to submit tickets while you're doing this. Okay so the next thing is uh, maintain the directory hierarchy to make sure files are overwritten. We don't really have to worry about that. Um, the commands that I'm going to show you will take that into account. Um, upload folder contains the OS ticket files that need to be uploaded to your web server. So actually what I'm going to do right now is uh, the one instance where I am going to need an FTP client is to get the files uploaded or the um, the downloaded pack OS ticket package uploaded to my server and so to do that I'm going to use FileZilla and so I have opened up FileZilla and I've already forgotten where our IP address is so I'm just going to copy this I will paste it in here. Actually, we don't need the HTTP, we just need the IP address. Okay, um, so I'll put in my username, password. Um, you may have to put in port 22, it may automatically just do that anyhow. Um, I'm just going to put it in now so I don't have any issues. Great. And so now, uh, using the FTP client, um, I am in my downloads folder. I have my OS ticket, my latest download for OS ticket. So I have the 1.12 zipped file there. And what I'm going to do is just move that over. And my files have been successfully transferred. And at this point, I'm pretty much, I believe I'm pretty much done using my FTP client. And I will come back to the command line. And bring that over here. And I will clear things again. And now what we'll do is um, list the, oh, I believe we are still in my home folder. Yep, we will list the contents. And you'll see now that we have the OS ticket zip file. And what I'll do here is um, run the command unzip 
OS ticket. I'm going to type Y to replace the OS ticket zip. And I'm not 100% sure what that's doing, but in any case, I'm going to change directories into, actually, let's see, let's list what we have here. Oh, I see. All right, so we'll need to run the unzip OS ticket command again. And now when I list the contents, you'll see that we now have scripts and upload. And actually, I will clear things again um, and list things again. And so at this point, we're done with the OS ticket zip file, and I'm going to remove that. So I will do that with um, rm OS ticket dash v1. Oops. Dot, um. Oh, I see. I have the wrong name there. OS ticket. Um, okay, so we'll remove that. Unless that is gone. And let's look at our instructions again. Okay, so we're at the point where it's telling us that upload folders. Uh, upload folder contains the OS ticket files that need to be uploaded to your web server. The other thing I want to point out at this point is um, number seven, do not upload files and scripts foldered. Uh, only useful for remote piping. I'm not quite sure what that is. Um, I don't use it and so I'm going to get rid of those things. Uh, so what I'm going to do is you'll see that we have the upload directory. So OS Ticket was telling us that's where all of uh, the files that need to be replaced live. Um, it told us that the scripts directory isn't something that we really want to uh, use. So I'm going to remove it with um, rm-r scripts. And I believe you have to put the asterisk in there. And so we'll list. Hmm. Actually, maybe the asterisk doesn't have to be in there. Nope, it doesn't. Okay, so I've removed that, and let's see. The next thing we want to do is to transfer our files from the new upload folder uh, to the old upload folder. So we're going to have to rewrite some things and overwrite some things. One thing that they're telling us here in step six is do not overwrite your ost-config PHP file. Well, the command that we're going to use will not overwrite that as long as the file does not exist in our newly um, uploaded OS ticket files. So what I'm going to do is just be sure that that does not exist. And so they told us it is in the upload directory and it was in the include directory. So this one right here. So we will change directories into include. List everything that's in there. You'll see that there is the ost-sample config file, but there is not an ost-config.php. So we won't be um, running the command that I'm about to show you won't uh, overwrite your ost-config.php file because um, it doesn't exist. But you do want to check in this folder just to be absolutely certain that that file doesn't doesn't exist. So I'm going to clear the screen again. I'm going to change directories back into the upload folder. And now what I can do is run the rsync command. So what that will do is it will take all of the files from the upload directory and then update and overwrite existing files in my var slash www slash html directory which is where my OS ticket installation lives. So to do that, um, what we're going to do is run rsync dash a 
and I think I will do the entire directory path so it is home my user account upload and we are going to put that into var www html and I think that's it so if I hit enter rsync okay so I don't have rsync on my computer it's a very easy thing to do or it's not on the server so uh, let's see we want to actually run sudo um, what is it apt get install rsync rsync that should do it put in my password Okay, so I have installed rsync, and um, let's go ahead and clear the page again. And I'm just going to use my up arrow to key back to the rsync command that I did. So rsync-a into my upload directory, um, or from my upload directory to my HTML directory. So now when I hit enter, oh, I get some access denied errors. Um, uh, just to make this easier to understand, let's uh, I will use my up arrow again and go to the beginning of the command and um, it's another it's another sudo command because we're going into a directory that my user doesn't actually have full permissions on. So we need to use the sudo command um, enter and we don't get any errors so in all likelihood we are in good shape. I'm gonna just change directories into var www html list and actually if we do list la we'll see that um, some updates weren't necessary while others were so we have uh, all these files on May 16th that were taken care of let's go back to our instructions so we have uh, we didn't overwrite that we've we didn't upload our scripts um, we didn't have version 1.6 so at this point um, there is an upgrade script that we can run through the web based upgrade wizard so if we go back to OS ticket you'll see that we've update successfully updated system settings and I'm just gonna click on systems here uh, it's gonna have me log in again and so uh, we're brought to the OS ticket upgrader page once we do that and here uh, all of our prerequisites are done so if you've successfully installed OS ticket it's pretty likely you're going to have all of these if not it would tell you otherwise and you'd have to troubleshoot that um, so the upgrade process will take a couple of seconds I'm just going to go ahead and uh, it seems they want to keep telling us to upgrade our OS ticket database and back up our files uh, again we've already done that so we don't have to worry about it click on start upgrade now and of course we're getting some uh, messages here that are telling us that um, a database migration is required so these are all of the uh, required uh, database patches that need to be applied um, I'm just gonna go ahead and click upgrade now this is just more for our information there's nothing we need to do uh, other than click upgrade now and so they say the OS ticket upgrade has been completed successfully uh, you can refer to release notes for more information about the new changes. Uh, we also get a little notice up here telling us to delete the setup install directory. So that is what we will do next. And we will do that, uh, let's see, so we are already in the proper directory. Yep, uh, I'm going to just clear this and let's list the contents and so you'll see that there is this setup directory here so for security reasons they want us to delete that 
I believe this is going to need root privileges. So sudo, um, what was it? rm r uh, setup. Perhaps we have to put in the full path. So uh, var www html setup. Okay, now if we list the contents, you'll see that setup is no longer there. Okay. So now I'm going to go back into settings here. Let's see. So the setup, delete setup install directory, it's still there, huh? Wonder if we. Oh, I see. So I refresh the page. And you'll see that I am now running my updated version of OS Ticket. Uh, so the next thing we want to be sure to do is uh, make sure we go back online. So we'll click on the little radio button for online. And again, this is under the admin panel settings system. We'll come down here to save changes. Successfully updated the system. If I go to my agent I now see that things have changed quite a bit, and um, but at the same time, it all appears to be working pretty well. So there you have it. That is how you would go about upgrading uh, your version of OS Ticket to a more recent release. I hope you found this video to be insightful. Um, if you liked the video, please uh, click the like button. If you have any questions, um, I do try to answer them as best I can, so you can leave those in the comments, um, and I thank you for watching.